The CPU is an integral part of nearly every digital system that powers our lives. From our laptops, phones, TVs to servers, supercomputers, cars and much much more, the CPU has enabled the digital transformation of our lives. Given the importance of the CPU, there exists a need for a foundation for processor design at the University of Marichua. To this end we develop our very own in-house CPU at UOM to encourage processor design at the university. We present an out-of-order CPU with a set associated cache implementation designed from the ground up. The key features of our processor are as follows. Supports the RISC RV64 IMA instruction set architecture. Out-of-order execution. Set associated cache. Consider this simple C code. Only the divider unit is doing useful work when computing C. All other modules are waiting for it to finish. This is known as stalling. Only the divider unit is doing useful work. Why not execute an independent operation that comes after? The key idea is to execute independent instructions while long latency instructions are executed and instruction dependencies are solved. This must be hidden from the programmer to simplify debugging. Cache acts as a transparent intermediary between the main memory and the CPU. It is a high-speed memory that attempts to bridge the speed difference between the two. However, since the size of the cache memory is much smaller than that of the main memory, a mapping system is required for implementation. Since cache is much smaller than memory, we cannot map each memory location to just one cache location. There will be overlap that reduces performance. Set associativity is a method to reduce this overlap. A general overview of our CPU design is seen in this block diagram. The fetch unit predicts the flow of the code and fetches it into the CPU. The decode unit then identifies each piece of code and issues it for execution. The execution unit then executes the code. The reorder buffer then reorders the code to program order. In this short video, we compare the performance of an in-order processor implementation versus our processor with out-of-order execution. The out-of-order processor completes the algorithm in around 60 seconds whereas our in-order processor takes around 170 seconds to complete it. This demonstrates the performance gain obtained through out-of-order execution. We have developed our very own processor with advanced features such as out-of-order execution and set associated cache. We are able to achieve a frequency of 75 MHz and run any bare metal C code on it.